I've ended up journaling a lot lately and I ended up kind of rambling to myself while sitting in the backyard today um, because for my meditation and mysticism class I had to do a reflection on pure silence for meditation purposes and I know that I really enjoy silence when I, like I said when I was writing this I was sitting outside to get away from the music my family was playing on their speakers and I just like watching the clouds move and listening to the breeze and the trees and watching the birds which sounds really corny but I think it's really important you know to appreciate these things and kind of foster a familiarity with being alone and being at peace with that because I don't think that being alone necessarily means being lonely um I know that I'm guilty of like using my phone during meals when I'm by myself and I know that I sometimes kind of drown myself in useless noise like stupid YouTube videos and TV shows while I'm alone but I'm trying to get even more comfortable with it because you know I, I want to be able to stare at the ceiling the way I used to when I was a kid you know doing nothing but like really doing nothing um and I think that doing nothing can be a good thing if it's not you know laying on the couch scrolling through like tumblr or whatever and I think this kind of ties into my disdain for the word content when it's applied to media or anything someone experiences when reading the reflections that my classmates posted for the meditation in silence, I was honestly taken aback, you know, by how many people said they couldn't even handle the 10 minutes we were asked to do. Uh, many people, you know, expressed that it felt like they should be doing something productive or that they need noise because it was something that they were used to. But is being alone sometimes not for the better, you know? Like, especially when social media people have constant access to you and create an obligation for you to speak with them or watch the parts of your life that you're choosing to present to them and the silence is a break from the constant stream of this like from advertising to reminders from companies that life sucks and you need to buy things to make life suck less i don't know to embrace in you know a life inundated by noise is to accept the notion that people and experiences are content that you engage with and consume and it just I don't, consumption is such an insidious word that has snuck into our daily language and embedded itself into conversations and that's just so gross it's horrific you know to be so under the thumb of all these companies and corporations that are trying to sell you ideas and lifestyle and things that are ultimately useless that everything is considered consumption you don't consume content when you watch a movie or read a book or talk with friends because you're experiencing emotions you're learning you're talking the more that you know we allow ourselves to use such nefarious language the fewer choices we make as individuals um, we can't let corporations dictate how we live and what we consider living and this was all kind of spurred from reading that the responses to the reflection and a patch that i have i got it from some artist on etsy with the quote how will you live your life in a way that doesn't make a mockery of your values on it and to be honest i've been thinking about that quote a lot lately and i haven't sewn it on to my work in progress patch pants because i don't feel worthy of it yet i'm not going to use words like content or consumption anymore i'm gonna try buying a lot less this year i hope to switch back to a flip phone and i, I want to change how i live to escape this really weird invasive path set in front of me because i shouldn't have to pay for music or for four streaming services or a subscription to one of the richest companies in the world for free shipping these things like they always money that i could be putting to things that will last me like dvds and vinyls even the stupid figures that i like to collect these are all part of experiences that i could be having you know it 
to be honest, it's probably cheaper being addicted to cigarettes than buying all these stupid monthly subscriptions and everything that I let myself pay a premium for. If I advocate, will advocate <laughs> for so much and have, you know, such ardent beliefs, you know, why, why don't I try following them? I need to live my life in a way that doesn't make a mockery of my values. I need to change things, even if only for myself. So... I hope that wasn't really word soup. I just have a lot of really strong feelings brewing on this. And I really, really hope to eliminate those words, you know. Even if just from my vocabulary. I think it's really important to start thinking of things as experiences again.